Are you stuck on the samples quest from Peacekeeper because you just can't find that last melodonin in raid? We'll never find it, not before we run out of fuel, water, or both. Well, worry not, because in this video, I will show you how I get my samples quest done with little effort every wipe. Well, that was easy. This guide also requires no keys whatsoever, so you can start looking for those stems on day one of wipe if you want to. Soon enough, you'll be enjoying those ballistic helmet and facial rewards, which have saved my booty more times than I can count. So let's get right into the guide. First, we'll be going to Lighthouse. And if you aren't comfortable with dealing with the rogues on your PMC, it is risk-free on your scaf. In fact, it might even be more efficient on your scaf. You don't have to deal with rogues and player scavs have a solid chance of just spawning with stims. Nice. So while looking at the loot path you're about to see on Lighthouse, if you do it on your scavs, maybe in between raids or after you die, you have a solid chance at finding stims, but also just spawning with them. With that out of the way, the Lighthouse run will find us four of the seven stims we need. Mule, Abdolbos, Melodonin, and L1. Let me show you where you can find them. So here we are right outside the USEC Chalet, the one with the black roof, the southernmost resort. And there's two spawns here we're gonna be looking for. The first one is right inside the garage, right where this knife is. So if you come in here, right where this knife is, where you can find your first syringe spawn. And I'm not gonna lie guys, while also filming for this video, I noticed something. There is a vertex underneath there i did not know there was a high value spawn underneath there just so i'm gonna pick it up just so you know it's not part of the map look at that or sorry it's a vpx i did not know there's a vpx spawn down there so i just want to point that out because i saw it and i think it's kind of cool anyway so after that spawn the next spawn we're gonna check is actually down the stairs all the way down actually there's two spawns now that i'm just remembering there's two so right on these chairs here you can find stims. These spawn meds and rations, but if you get lucky, they find the stims, or they spawn the stims that you're looking for. And then across from that, we have one more stim spawn, which is right inside this box right here. So inside this box right here, you get another stim spawn. And this one usually goes and looted. It's in a kind of uh, hidden area, so feel free to check that one out here, right down from the uh, stairs, right behind these bushes here. That is that box. I'm also quickly going to show you one other spot just in case you're curious enough to check it out. These dead scavs can spawn essentially anything. So there's two of them right here. They can spawn stims. They can spawn armor like hex grids, like tier 6 armors. They can spawn guns, ammo, like GPUs, bitcoins, anything. So if you're here looking for those stim spawns and uh, you want to get the most out of your raid, you might as well check out these two bodies as well. Sometimes they can spawn some loose meds around them, nothing this time, around these like blanketed ones, but nothing here. So here we are at the water treatment plant, a great place to find all the stims that we're going to be looking for for our samples quest. The first one is right up here on this rogue tower. So rogue will be up here. Again, I'm not going to cover how to kill the rogues in this guide. This is just for the stims. And our first stim location is going to be right in here in the small box on like the second story of this building. Okay. So after we get that or check that spawn, we come down in here. And we're essentially going to be looking at all of these boxes for our injectors. So this box right here has an injector spawn. So we're going to check inside of here. Make sure you get that loot indicator because sometimes they can spawn like under the surface of the box and you can't really see it. Then we have a spawn right here that can spawn. The, um, or sorry, right where the cyclone is. Right where the cyclone is can spawn the injector. So we'll take that. Why not? We're going to keep going here. It's going to be the same thing in this tent. So we look for that similar building or that similar uh, bench. And right here can spawn a stim. Right there. Then we're going to go and check up on here. Up in here can spawn a stim. Oh, let's see. Jump over here. Right inside this little box. Be careful of the helicopter rogues. They can sometimes shoot you. They almost never do. But right inside this little box. You can find more stims. That's why I kind of recommend doing this on your scab because your scab can spawn stims in itself. So you're basically just getting a more efficient run when you're checking for stims. 
Then we're gonna run into this next green tent, just beyond the one we, uh, or just beyond the box we just looted. And right inside here, inside this box, right here, you can find more stims. So, a lot of stim spawns. Now, we have three more boxes to check for stims, I believe. There's one box right here, right behind this car here. This can also spawn your stims. And then we're gonna run just out here to the left. Nothing in that box. I've checked it a million times and I've never gotten anything in it. Maybe I'm just super unlucky. I don't know. But we're gonna run right around to the left here. And two more stim spawns or potential stim spawns. One in this box right here. And then if you go back just beyond these uh, like portables or what have you. And this box right here can also spawn your stims. I actually forgot about one more box that can spawn stims and it's right outside warehouse one on the back side so we came in looting just back there where the other two boxes were in the parking lot so if you just run through that warehouse get to this side of it with the jeep you can see the train station is just over there inside this box right here you have another stim spawn and while i'm at it just because i'm here a moonshine can spawn right behind this box on the floor oh look there's a morphine right here nice so potentially another sim spawn that I did not know about because I've never gotten an injector right there, but there was an injector right there. So all the power, all the power to you. If you find an injector there, please let me know. Okay, so another good place to find the stims, which is actually because this area is new, is the train yard area. So this area in itself isn't new, but there's the new medical area within the crates, which we'll be going to soon, and I'll show you if you can find those stims. But the first thing we're going to do is check the box immediately on our left, these two stacked wooden boxes. You can find syringes in here. So in this box on the floor, we're going to jump up on this one. And then you can find it right in here, right where the badge is. So good for loot. Actually, all the boxes that I've shown you in the guide for the syringes, they all spawn extremely high valuables. So you'll be making money while trying to get the samples quest done. It's actually pretty cool. But after we check those two double stack boxes, beware that there's scavs can spawn around that train house there. But if you're doing this on the scav run, you won't really have to worry about that. We're going to head to the new medical drug lab area, which a lot of people still don't know exists because it looks similar and it's pretty hard to find. Like if you look on the outside, it just looks like a bunch of stacked shipping crates. But right here, there is an entrance. You can see rocking the silly network colors, might I, might I add. But... We're going to turn on our flashlight here, and where we're going to be looking is upon all of these services. So on these cabinets here, taking a look amongst all these plants, you can see we have a morphine right there. So that could be any sorts or all types of stims. So all up in these plants here, we can look, just get that loot indicator because sometimes you might not notice it or, you know, this is Tarkov, items can be bugged, glitched into things. Um, I will point out that there's rare valuable spawns on the couch. On the book, there's uh, rare valuable spawns around these boxes. Even though it's not what we're looking for, there's a sugar there. But I'll point them out while I'm here anyway. Um, so you're going to be looking throughout all of these tables here. And then once you're done that, you can come back this side. You're going to look on this table here. You look on this table here. You see where you can find this Vaseline. You can find uh, more injectors. And up on here, you can even find some intel right here on this uh, desk or on this massive shelf. So, intel syringes rare meds good place to loot but a good place to get your samples quest done so after you checked all of that then you are good to go now let's find the three other stims i will quickly note that because the drug lab area is new in lighthouse it may have the potential to spawn these last three stims i just don't know because the content hasn't been out for too long yet there are three methods i use to find the last three stims the scav case woods and Sanitar, the shoreline boss. On Woods, if you look around one of the bodies around the convoy, it has a chance to spawn the stems you're looking for. An early prop work quest takes you there, so you should be familiar with the area. 
If you are raiding on Shoreline, there are three areas in which Sanitar can spawn. At the resort, at the cottage, and on the pier. It can be a good idea to look for him for a solid chance to lose stims once you kill him. He has a total of two guards with him, so proceed with caution when you fight him. The scav case is another great way to find stims, most predominantly with the moonshine and intel tiers. This is a great way to passively find stims as they count as find in raid. Plus, you can unlock the scav case well before you unlock the samples quest. Finally, I want to point out three keys that are great for stim spawns if you have access to them. I never end up needing them, but they are definitely helpful. First is the black key card, which can be found on labs or crafted. I have a guide on how to find every key card if you need it. Next, we have the key card with blue marking, which can be found on sanitar or jackets. And finally, we have the key with blue tape, which again can be found on sanitar or jackets, which gives you access to the east wing room 110 on shoreline and resort. Right, well, hopefully this video helped you find your stems for your sanitar quest. Let me and everyone else know where you found your stims if you found them in a different location. I'd love to learn new looting spots for all of these stimulants. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you in the next one.